All right, what is up, guys? It's Kicks Review Jack, and I'm going to be doing another review on the BNB Better Nike Bot All in One. All right, so to start off with, we're going to go over these uh, accounts right here. So, um, first thing you want to know is like one account is like one person trying to get the shoe. So, the more accounts you add, it's essentially multiple people trying to get the shoe. So, what you want is if you're going, if you're not using proxies, you want to use one account. But if you have proxies, like 50 proxies, you can run 50 accounts and it won't look like you're a bot. So each proxy is for a single account. So that's it'll help you not get blocked on certain sites. So that's the best way. Um, proxies you can get on Twitter or on sites in general. All right, so account, we can just put in either, well, you want to put in the email from your account on, let's say, Adidas or something. So you're gonna put in your email or and then put in your password if you're doing not if you're not doing a guest account. If you're doing a guest account, you don't have to put in a password, just an email. Then you can put in your size and then you can put in an early link. So basically that's just what you want to have the bot go to that page. So I'll show you right here. That's an early link. And we'll just copy that and put it in there. And then keywords are just gonna be like ultra boost plus gray. So it'll help you find it. But it doesn't work on all the sites. Keywords are from just some sites. And then you're gonna pick uh, Adidas US, and notification email is just the email it's going to send the uh, confirmation to. Uh, there's tons of different sites you can use for the bot. Uh, let's see, text that'll just send you a text when it carts. Checkout, you can either do PayPal checkout or credit card checkout, or you can do neither and it'll just cart. So basically, you can edit it there, and um, you can just cart it, or you can go ahead and. Uh, Auto check out. So basically, you can clone your uh, accounts right here, and then you have, let's say, all of those. But if you, what you want to do is you want to make each account different. So Joey Donaldson at gmail.com, you want to have a, a different account instead of all of them being the same login. It's not going to work. So you want either all guests or one real account, a few guests. Just don't make sure make sure that they're not all the same login. All right, so what you can do is uh, select all of the like accounts right there, and then you can hide them. So basically, oh, what am I? You can hide them. Let's see if it goes back. Yeah. So it'll hide all the accounts, and you can click Show All, and I click Toggle Disable, so you can run accounts on Foot Locker while the Adidas accounts are still on here. So that'll help you out there. You can edit them directly from there. Uh, email notifications will just send you an email when the item carts or checks out. Proxy will just use a proxy when you go and like open it up in their browser. Skipped fail logins is basically when you try and get the shoe and it doesn't log in, then it'll just skip it. Send password notifications, that is basically when you get the email saying they carted, it'll give you the password to log in. And one checkout per card per site, so if you're trying to check out seven pairs of Yeezys, it'll only do one if it's just on Foot Locker or it'll do one on each foot site. Proxies, I uh, already went over those, basically help not get you blocked. And pro one proxies for one account, so 50 accounts, 50 different proxies. And if your proxies get banned, then, well, if one of them's banned, I guess you're just gonna have to use the other ones. All right, so kind of went over all of that stuff. Um, next, there's uh, Twitter stuff. Twitter's just basically monitoring, monitoring uh, like an account on Twitter for when they release the link for something. Um, I don't really use it very much, but you can. Uh, you can edit all the account info and edit account info right there. Uh, that'll just edit everything at once and or and select different accounts. So I started it here. It's not going to work because I did random username and login, so it's not going to work there. You can schedule it to be at a certain time in the day. So you can save that, um, or you can just clear the log, pause the log. Um, I still have it running right now, but I'll uh, take that off. You can import uh, accounts. So basically, you just create like a notepad right here, and you're going to save it as like Yeezy 350, and then you're going to, let's see, I have to turn that off real quick. Then you're going to just do export the all of the accounts to a file, and that file is going to be the one you named Yeezy 350 or something. And then what you can do is when you go to do a different release, import all those files and just click on that file and then you get all your files back. So that helps you not lose the accounts or if you forgot them and you can just do it that quick.
Captcha is for mainly Adidas, but other sites too. Basically, like right, that's what the Captcha is. It's basically proving you're not a robot. So you are a robot in this instance, but the bot can do it for you. So you just basically solve the captchas and it puts it right in the bot. And it can do it for you, but it's a lot better to solve yourself because it's faster. Um, you don't want to edit the site key because that's kind of iffy. If you mess it up, then you're not going to get them. Early links is basically, they release the early links for the release. So you can just go on there and pick the early links, put them in the bot, and then you're all good. And they sell proxies too. Check for updates. That's just whether the bot has an update or not. I've already updated mine. Uh, this uh, Keith drop, basically, it just tells you what you need to do. So you're going to put in that link. You're going to put in the key or keyword, either boost plus multi or trail plus boost for the different release. And then it tells you when to start the task because the drop's at midnight, so you want to do it 15 minutes prior. So I'm just going to go in here and do, let's see where Keith is, right there, Keith. And then put in all your information, and then just put it 15 minutes before the release. So, um, again, this is a, definitely a hard release, so I wouldn't expect to get them, but it's the luck of the draw, really. It's, a lot of these releases are super hard, so if I try for one easy release and I get five, the next one I could get none. It really depends, because there's so many people using the bot at one time, so it's difficult to, to get them, really. I mean, no bots are saying you will get them. So it's a, kind of a luck of the draw if you know what you're doing. And it's going to take a while to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it'll be it'll be easier. All right, so that's pretty much it, I think. I went over all these things. Uh, you can edit the account info, um, Twitter stuff. Um, don't think there's really much else to say. If you have any questions, you can just comment below, and I'll reply to you as fast as possible. Uh, you can also go on Better Nike Bots, uh, in, or not Instagram, what am I saying, uh, their website, and they should have frequently asked questions, or you can email them questions, or tweet at them on their Twitter. If you want to see their success rates, you can just go to their Twitter and check out all of their retweets from other people getting shoes, and you can also find out what proxies to use, because they sell proxies, the NJ Sneak sells proxies and uh, servers, and I'll go over a video about proxies and servers in another video, but thanks for watching, guys. Please like and comment.